capitalism, all of the gains in automation, it goes to the owner class. All you have to do is have everyone be an owner, and now suddenly, any gain in automation is a gain for everybody. If you grow just one thing, it may not grow as well as if it grows with another thing. A good example of that is called the, the Three Sisters Method of Farming. There is definitely multi-apartment buildings or multi-families that do do a passive A hundred million dollars that they gave to Joe Rogan that they would kind of be out if they breach contract. Is that a bigger number? Or is two billion a bigger number? <laughs> It's a tough one. It's I know. Really hard. And maybe, maybe yes. comparing numbers is not uh, Jeremy Strong's. Gotta go kill a Jenny. I still don't think you should kill her. I don't think it's a good idea. It's a ghost, dude. Welcome back to Bread Theory, everybody. So we are continuing on in our SJ Witcher series. Uh, when last we left our hero, we were trying to figure out whether or not we were going to trust this whispering hillock, who is, you know, by all accounts, this very ancient power probably evil, was imprisoned by her own daughters, uh, her soul was not left to, to rest, somehow they, they trapped it in, a, in this giant tree in, in a, inside a hill. And uh, now it wants to be free, and we are going to collect the necessary things to free it. The question is whether or not we're going to go through with the plan or end up fighting it. So, a lot of, a lot of things to weigh. The, the hillock has promised that the, the children that we have met earlier who are being protected by Gran will be saved if it is allowed to be free. And judging by the way things tend to go with this, this trail of treats that they, they send orphan children or, or unwanted children down, it kind of seems like they get lured to their death by these crones who hold sway over the entire bog area for sure but supposedly you have far reach into Valen in general. So it doesn't seem like they're the greatest of people or, or entities either. So that, I guess that's, that's what's at stake here. Do we trust this, this wild demonic energy, the whispering hillock, or do we trust that the crones would be better off, you know, just, just, you know, facing them on our own eventually and doing away with as many ancient and evil powers as possible. So that's what is at stake today. I'm going to share it to a couple more places and then we'll get going. If I can spell right, that is. Okay, and then I'll share it to my own profile as well, and we'll get into it. Okay. So right now what we're doing is trying to find the bones of the, the spirit of the, the whispering hillock. We're, we're way out in the bog. I already seen a grave hag. Or not a grave hag, a water hag. So that's something. Let's get some quen going. Only a level 8 water hag, but still. Well, I guess we'll do Igni as our. Secondary. Not good. Eh, we're okay. We still have our Gourmand energy up. Get that extra boost from food. <laughs> I 
Oh, come on. Let's finish her off here. There we go. So that's the end of that. Water hag tooth. Ooh, what I've always wanted. Alright, let's continue on our search. <laughs> Betting it's going to be on dry land. Or dry, comparatively dry land. Probably not just going to be floating out there in the bog. Not that large of an area to search, though. Gotta be around here somewhere. So I'm kind of leaning towards trusting the Whispering Hillock more than the, the Hags. Trust that it will do more good to have it on our side. Even if it does some terrible things, too, because it seems like it's pretty much tormenting the local townspeople, the local townspeople are basically under the thrall of the crones. Looks like we found the bones, I guess. Oh yeah, here we go. A grave. Strange bones. Don't seem human to me. All right, so I guess we've gotten the bones. Now we got to go find a a white a black mare, dark as pitch. That's the final ingredient because we already got the feathers just by chance. <laughs> those are apparently the things that the Let's whispering go. hillock needs to. Come corporeal again. So we're gonna go find us a, a black mare. Or was it stallion? I don't remember. A black horse. We'll find a black horse. Somewhere over this way. Really? This is what the the way my Witcher GPS is taking me? Come on. You can do it. Well, that sounds pretty freaking ominous. Where are we? Are we near where that... That vampire was? No. We're far away from that right now. Uh, it must be the... Must be the place of power that we're looking at. that we're hearing. All right. Up we go. And we'll call Roach when we get to the top. Oh, no. It's the Whispering Hillock that we're hearing. That's what it is. <sighs> Lots of dead bodies right outside. Kind of seems like the you know, the hillock has been in a, a feud with the crones, so it lures the people from the village that keep the crown. And it, uh, you know, basically murders them. But it's not as though the people in the village have been, you know, done all that well by the crones lately. They've kind of expressed their displeasure with them, and things aren't working out as well. It's 
kind of funny you see a shrine to maybe that's a different shrine because it does look a little different than the shrines to the crones maybe it's a shrine to this goddess that's in the whispering hill We will just make our way towards these wild horses. Okay. We're going uphill. I don't know why Roach keeps slowing down. Let's go, Roach. Maybe Roach doesn't like this mission at all. I'm gonna have to ride a different horse after all. That's probably gonna make Roach jealous. So here's some horses. Kind of looks like they're all black. So probably anyone will do, huh? What is this? Something I can sense. Oh, it's just a dead deer. Must mean there are predators about. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I choose then, huh? Um, I'm guessing to... Uh, let's see. Probably going to have to tame it. What are you getting upset about? Alright, you look cool. Let's try you. We're going to tame you. Oh, I may have to switch my sign type. I'm on my secondary sign. I'm gonna have to go away from everybody for a second. Ooh, what's this? Eight treasure chest. Not bad. Weird mushrooms growing everywhere. That's kinda cool. I think to get my Axie sign back to the way it was. Alright, now I think I'm on normal Axie again. We'll go test it out. this horse? No, I can. Very cool. And now I gotta go ride back. Whoa. Oh. Oh, he didn't like me. Aww. Well, fine. We'll try you then. too far out of the way. I may still be in the alternate sign mode. Might be what's screwing me up. Try one more time and if it doesn't work. That's not whispering hill up, is it? Ominous. No, it's not the Whispering Hill. Interesting. Let's back up in all of this stuff. Huh. Pretty sure this is high level stuff back here. So we'll turn back around. There's a 
course. Just the one I already tried to tame. Let's try again. You gonna be nice? Oh. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Alright. I think I maybe... I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't know how to... Get... Alternate sign mode, apparently. Let's see, how do I get off of it? Maybe I just gotta press it one time rather than hold it. We'll try that. There we go. Hey. Nice, nice, nice choice of language there. Uh, are you gonna knock me off? Don't worry, Roach. I'll be back for you. I think we're going to try helping it. Just because I've played through this before, I do know that if you don't help it, the kids do die. Just they're gone. It's assumed they're dead. Oh, wait. It's not going to want to go down there. What are you talking about? Come on, Witcher GPS. You got to be better. So I think it's going to be the right choice to to help it, even if it ends up hurting other people. Which it almost assuredly will, because it really hates that village down Warren. So I said last time, I kind of see what the allegory is here. Is do you trust nature to uh, provide the best protection for you, or do you trust people? Because the crones kind of represent kind of that intermediary between nature and humanity. The whispering kind of 
nature unchained. All right. Gonna make a big decision. Somehow we got reins on that horse, but hey, that's fine. With a bit, though. Not even a bridle. Ready. We can start. See, I mean, it's a big spiky heart. It's it's thrown off a lot of vibes. Mm. All right, let's let's try doing it. I think this is the better choice. Save the kids at the price of saving the village. Not being at the price of not being able to. I offer your wings. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh. I mean, you kind of look like a lot of flesh right now. Not quite as much uh, blood as you would imagine from a gigantic freaking heart. Here we go. A genie thing where free the children oh, it turns into black beauty. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? That was not like a genie thing though, where like you wish to free the children and it just uh, frees them from their lives, so to speak, right? Being a gale unchained, you, you're kind of sluggish getting out of your own cave there. Black Beauty. I wonder if I can ride Black Beauty. No, I cannot. There goes the Whispering Yellock. Let's hope we make the right choice. I mean, what, are you going to have it imprisoned there for all eternity either? Like, that doesn't seem like a good thing. If you keep it imprisoned, it's certainly killing people. If you let it go, Probably gonna kill people. At least this way. I guess you have a chance of fighting it later on. I don't know. I don't actually know how it, it ends up playing out because I've only done it the other way. All right. Let's go tell the villagers what we've done. Probably not gonna like this. I'm probably gonna have to battle them. Let's uh let's put on Quen. Just for no reason, fellas, don't worry. It's not because I'm preparing to, to battle with you. Oh, 
he's not that some villager. Oh yeah. They're examining the werewolf that I killed earlier. Solved your problem. Just in case, though. Avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Hmm, now what do I do? I'm probably gonna be able to... Should I just be honest with him? I mean, I guess his fate's sealed either way. I guess it's more a question of is he going to attack me if I tell him the truth? And I'm going to have to use violence. An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd you dispel this evil? I can feel like lying to them, but... I guess it's not lying, it just doesn't matter. <sighs> it's a tough decision. I guess, yeah, well, it doesn't Take matter. The hill took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood, as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Do you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. <laughs> that doesn't seem ominous at all, does it? I think we're supposed to believe that they sacrifice their ears so that the ladies can hear everything that happens in Velen. Take it to ladies, will you? Hmm, a bloody ear. What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. An ear. So all those ears in the woods. Put it out of your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. No gods nor masters. Spoken like a true anarchist, but then also under complete control and obedience to... Some ancient gods. <laughs> so maybe not quite. So I'm assuming the crones are going to be pretty pissed at me after unleashing the greatest threat. And here are the lovely ladies of the wood, finally. Your weapon, you man. Real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well? Bring it here. Yeah, these people are all pretty well enslaved to these crones. They may get protection, but the cost of entire obedience. Not unlike feudalism itself. You're disobedient. 
obeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. Oh, so the children did live. So we're helping still? Mm, one of the bugs coming I out of its eyes. It to play. I liked it here. Seems like they that. Played. I think that's probably the most disgusting. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that much is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. Dun dun dun. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she tested. You know, I learned recently that uh We helped her. She agreed to I'll, serve. I'll say after. I won't wrote, I won't spoil the story. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come, it is another woman who interests you. Speak, white haired one. Yeah, not too, not too excited about being used. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. What's pretty brave soul? Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. Hear that, mm -hmm. sisters? Traitor! She took the children, brought her! We made a deal. I was supposed to help the villagers. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery you chose to outwit. Whose spirit went tree? That of one who once cheated death. Kind of, kind of like you all, it seems. You freed an ancient power. It will rise again. There, beyond, blood will flow once more. What foolish things men sometimes do! You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only know how much time we spent in front of the glass. Probably difficult to fix that wicker basket to your face. Do you desire us? Oh. Wait, are those mini crows flying in and out of her eyes? Oh. I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Yeah. To be woven together with you? Those do look like mini crows flying in and out of I her eyes. I would be your best. 
and lost. Very strange. Mm, not what I came for. Our deal. At my part, now you do yours. A word once given, never break. The goblin, mousy blind. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, even, and selfish. Yeah, don't believe that one. The young woman I seek never heard anyone without cause. You've not so. She's changed for the worse. Right. Why'd she attack? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath humes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, please, boy. All right, I think I need to get to be Siri in this one. No. Yes. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the old ones had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that burst into flame. So they're in league with uh, the wild hunt. Well said. We must have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. <laughs> Perfect for a prop. Oh, I can taste it already. Well, get on with it. You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Regret not getting your feet eaten off? Not bloody likely.
Got tons of guys after us now. I assume the point of this is just to run. No, we're gonna face down all these guys. Tripped and fell again. You tried to kill her. You tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. Alright. We're gonna find her. She escaped you. But I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. That would be good. You return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Mm-hmm. Now you shall chase shadows and wander mist fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die to see you. <laughs> There's some top notch uh, witch cackling. Hmm. I guess so far it seems as though we've made the right decision. So we got the Brewess, the Weaves. and the Wisp S. Is this frost on the ground? Is that what that's supposed to be? Is that the wild hunt was just here? Interesting. I wonder if I can still talk to Graham. <clears throat> Is this the building she was in? Yeah. Don't see her anywhere though. This one. Let's look around before we go. Is 
check out the chest first. As long as everyone's gone. No more need for your pig hide and hardened leather. Where the heck did Gran go? Weird. Where's that signpost? We'll just do fast travel. I guess Downworn. Probably the first place to check out. See what happened to those people. Maybe nothing. Maybe they're fine now. But let's see. Actually, we're so close here. We should maybe do that vampire one long long as we're this nearby uh, as long as we're nearby what can I remember I can I remember? Which way was that? Ah, oh, we have a point. Probably put it into that. So let's look quickly. Intensity. And domination. We haven't tried using it as an active shield, though. If that uh, melt armor firestorm might be fun to try. I don't think there's anything here that we really want. There was one for. Deflecting arrows, that might be good. I think we'll just, we'll, we'll improve our attack. at all. Oh yeah, that's way far away.
Mm, swamp thing. Here's the one. That's the one that's nearby. Oh, real close. We'll go do that one. And then we'll come back. Maybe we'll check out this too. I think that's good. Hey Don't worry, Roach. We're just going to fight a vampire at dusk. What could go wrong? fence it's too deep of water to go through seriously come on you big tall horse big tall horse gets stuck on trees all the time I'm just going to ignore you for the time being. Plenty of chance to fight drowners in the swamp. Man, there's so many of them. Let's turn. There we go. before we lose breath. Whew. That was close. Let's try this active shield. Oh, interesting. And then it explodes. Huh. Good to know. Worse armor, yes, indeed. Potions. Hmm. That's not so important. Resistances. Eh, it's not bad. I think. We have black blood. Yes, we do. We're going to put that one on. And we're going to do the tongue owl. Don't need that as much. And we'll do thunderbolt. And then we need vampire oil. We should be set. We should be all ready for this vampire.
high toxicity. Hopefully, with our gear and our extra level this time, odds will be a little bit more in our favor. There he is. Pretty boy. These little foglet guys. Done yet. There we go. That that better gear really made the difference. Oh, I gotta meditate it sometime. I'm out of swallow. Take me a foglet trophy. around quick see if there's anything else worth taking There's two. There are two entrances. Oh, stuff back here. Dimetrium bomb. Somehow only the bag is lootable, but not the chest. Sure, why not? See if there's anything else. Still a very foggy cave. Usually when you kill foglets, the fog lifts. At least that's how I remember it. But maybe I'm wrong. Alright, doesn't appear to be much of anything else. Oh well. More 
more dead soldiers and stuff. Poor unfortunate people probably took refuge in the cave. Or went in exploring. Never to be seen again. There are many entrances to this cave. Okay. On our way. Only 170 yards away. Oh, but Roach is right here. We'll just get Roach. Still working on that one nail. Must be a tough one. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Just so happens. Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give him cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hey, all right. Hundred and thirty six crowns, not bad. Should be the end of Swamp Thing, right? Come on. Hey. Let's check what else we got. Mary Widow. Grave Digger. That is up. Kind of far. Linden Vale. Okay. Let's make our way towards Linden Vale. We'll, we'll check this out real quick. And then we'll start our fast travel. Let's see what you are out here. Alright, I have to be on foot from here. Folks, no, nah, not really. Ugh. Uh, 
Oh. How do you like that silver? Well, this is no good. So it's a drowner nest, huh? Nest. Pick up this last little bit here, and then we'll go fight these other drowners. the drowned dead the big boss of this area oh well, I got 50 points just for that see the gas. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, that's right. I had to leave Roach. There's a, a shrine to the crones. Ooh. What have we here? Some random hunting boots. I'll take it. All right, come over here, Roach. Come on. That's it, Roach. Mm -hmm. 
He was absolutely determined to build his little shack out here in the heart of the swamp. Actually, we do need to check a map. Just want to get back to fast travel, and that's going to be the easiest way to do that. I'm not too interested in this island right now. Let me get up to Linden Vale. take the fight on. Since they're just so eager. Let's start our tour. We'll go to Down Warren first. Just to see how people are getting along after I unleashed that entity that basically wanted them dead. Well, they seem to be getting along just fine, actually. Sniffing round here, are you? Let's talk tomorrow about these ladies. I think Crohn's is more fitting as a name for those monstrosities. Why did you say that? Just the look of them. Hideous monsters clad in human robes and skin. Yup. Festac must add all your city folks' brains. I ain't seen all the ladies, true, but... The Wispass, she showed herself a true beauty in that. <laughs> Examined the Whispering Hillock. 
Thought you'd not return. What did you learn? That's a bit of a. Your ladies of the wood are three murderous sisters. Lies, foul lies. Say. Speak not so, for you bring their wrath upon us. Crones tricked you. The crones. They you should not be you. believing in them they anymore. Have you. been told <clears throat> cruel lies, Witcher. I beg you, don't believe them. Yeah, why do you trust them? You Whoops. trust women you've never even seen? Why? Ere the evil took root on the hillock, the ladies always helped us. Healthy babes were born, and once a year, we got a giant pot of boiled meat. Where did that meat come from? <laughs> Once a year, that's it. At the time of the feast, the ladies of the wood give us the scrapings from their table. They eat people. <laughs> I can see we'll never agree on this. Boiling meat Here's is people. Witches. Who caused such hatred towards our guardians to grow in ye, Witcher? Why do you trust such a one and not me? Because you're clearly you crazy. Murdering hags faithfully for years. Set out to destroy the forest. Clear the hill of trees. I, I'll not deny it. The ladies commanded it, but we failed them. Uh, if there be a tortured soul beneath that hillock, call him for justice. We'll answer its cries, but in mine eyes, it is not justice it yearns for, but blood. Kind of seems like your ladies are the same. Don't blabber to me about guilt and punishment. In my reckoning, something wants our lives, but we're not keen on dying. And that's all in your hands. Okay. Yeah, all right. Farewell then. Good health to you. Farewell. I'm betting the trader guy is uh, asleep now, so no point in trying to sell anything. Let's be on our way. Up to Linden Vale. No, I didn't. I wasn't trying to go here. Very dramatic entrance, though. Try that one again to Linden Vale. It's finally morning. Anything new on the message board? I mean, it looks like it is. That doesn't mean there is. Nah. Grubs. Wars coming. Cloth bleaching. Missing dog. But yeah, all the same stuff as before. I don't know. It's been a while since I've well, checked my inventory. Let's see if we got anything to sell. Got anything interesting? Likely not, but we'll see. Oh, that's right. We got all this armor stuff to sell. <laughs> there goes most of his coin. And he probably can't afford this sword. Oh, no, oh, not, not quite. Ooh, ooh. Additional information. We shall do that. Oh, maybe we've already read that. Ah, we've already read it. <laughs> that was dumb. But we got to buy something from him. So that he can buy that sword. 
guess we'll just buy that. Why not? And then you can buy Carabella that we got off that foglet. Noon Wraith trophy. I got no real reason to hang on to trophies. Well, some water. Don't need that. These appear to all be good foods. So we'll keep that. Any books we've read? So just journals. Eventually we're gonna have to just clean out this area. Ladies of the Wood. Oh, we, we've already read that one. Mm, got some pig hide. Anything in particular with crafting that we could sell. Water hack teeth. We'll sell a few of those. Bunch of amber dust. We'll let a bunch of that go. All right, I think that's pretty good. Are any good? All right. <laughs> Farewell. So I've already read this Isidore book, and yet I've now purchased it twice, like a fool. That's about. There's a map. What's your Elgar? No much prankings. Scrub the greasings from any dog's ear. Soaked into cotton twine, placed in a new lamp of greenish hue, and said set lamp betwixt an eager crowd. Forsooth shall they swear that the dog's head they behold. And. <laughs> This shall be no sorcery, but good betidings for the Prince of Ellender's nuptials, a paltry gnome armed with a miniature cutlass behind him, self uh, behid himself in a pie. When guests partook of the princely banquet, Anon jumped out the Bezebred gnome. I don't know what Bezebred means, but continuing, giving a terrible fright to all. All at first, then causing much merriment once the jest was figured. A sino, uh, sinocephalus, or dog head, uh, in our tongue, is a beast that in the wastes of Z Zanguebar dwells, has the corpus of a man but the head of a dog. The prince of Elander did receive such a specimen for the, from those far off lands. The Sinocephalus lets stream its urine with the tolling of every hour, both night and day. And this is why the Zangubarians engraves its likeness on timepieces and compasses. Charming. some wolf school gear but most of the wolf school gear is out of our reach because we cannot go back to uh care more cat school though 
that is something worth finding. about the job seems you've got a problem some graves get dug up if that were only it every now and then a royal beast that come round the graveyard devour what's fresh then move on started again not long past thought of myself just don't step out after dark and lock your door tight then a young and went missing. From the graveyard? Nay, from the village. Little Snotter wouldn't have come here of his own. And I'd heard something like a whimper in the night. Didn't bother to come out, see what was happening? <laughs> Think me daft. If you've monsters, you need a witcher. Yep, we'll just take it out. See if I can learn what's out there. Take the reward as it is offered. How did these dogs get? Well, they're chasing rabbits, are they? Poor dogs. I guess they, if they really were rabid and not just, you know, colloquially rabid, ghouls dug up the graves. Then probably the best decay attracted wild dogs to put them down. But neither ghouls nor dogs steal kids. Let's take a look inside the crypt, shall we? Always candles burning in these places. You wonder who's, who's just going around this world just lighting every candle they find. Well, not much in here to see. I don't think I just... Nope. There it is. See what we got here. Dug up. No tools used though. Come on, Geralt. Moving on. Dug up with a hoe? Nope. Claw marks right there. So? What could it be, Geralt? Guess that's not enough clues. Keep looking. Oh, what have we here? Grave's been dug up. 
recently. Smell of cadaverines old though, overripe. Wonder where the stench will lead me. Oh, we get to follow a stink trail. Lucky us. Yeah. Uh, okay. Where's the scent cloud? I'm not seeing it. Here? Out. Up. Up. What is this thing down here? They're coming from under the bridge. Appears as though it is. Down we go. Is a bear? Oh, great. Are we not able to get through here? What's going on? I know it's real difficult to imagine ducking, Geralt, but try for me. Send pattern anymore. We'll have to go back up to the bridge. Take me this way. Little old shack. Whatever filth lives here sure chose an unusual place for its lair. Creature can use tools, means it's sapient, or just plain clever. Okay. Don't know what the difference is, but sure. circle. Monsters clearly using them, drawing strength from the place of power. Maybe a 
grave hag. Collected the skulls to draw the power through them. Confidence grew enough it started prowling the village. Oh, okay. Need to take the skulls. Force that ought to wrap the cemetery. Off. That'll I'll get it there. The cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. I got these skulls. That'll give me a chance to meditate too, since it's only eight in the morning. I'm gonna have to wait a long time. Charming creature. Thief. Skulls he stole. My skulls. Ought to dig up his own. There she is. Right on cue. Licking tongue, that's really gross. Oh, I wonder if there's any way to cut that off. A lovely trophy from this one. Nope. And Roach just happens to be here. Okay. I'll take it.
What is up at this lookout point? Kind of curious. Oh, deserters. Yeah, we'll leave them alone. Good luck, boys. Don't bother the village. sitting here still just sitting on the fence okay well now you can go back to your work mm. I'm Mr. Man. Mm. hearing about the job and it's taken care of it was a grave hack that dug up the graves and snatched the child Oi. so how is the little tyke that's not how that works. No, I'm not going to say found him. What good is that going to do? Child's dead. Oh, tis as I thought. What about my reward? Oh, I've not forgotten, nay. Here you go. Thanks much for your help. <laughs> he just kind of takes life as it comes, doesn't he? Oh, Take care. dead child, what a shame. Oh, well. Back to fence sitting. Hey, level thirteen. Let's see what. Let's 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 keep on increasing this. Do I have some better mutagens? Don't have this one open yet. That's a shame. That was kind of a cool mutagen. I wonder if I have any decoctions I can make now. Ooh, three or uh, two decoctions. There we go. Foglet increases sign intensity during cloudy weather. That's very specific. I guess why not? We got plenty of ingredients for it. Werewolf decoction. Oh, this is a good one. Unlimited stamina. If you gotta run, that, that'll be good for when we get to the city. Was it only the two decoctions? De decoctions that I yeah I guess it's only the two. Oh, another bomb Demetrium bomb let's do that one enhanced and that's it for bombs oils enhanced drachnid enhanced necrophage and ogrid Potions, we got one. Full moon increases maximum vitality. Worthwhile, why not? And that's it for that. Let's see, we don't have... We can almost make enhanced griffin armor, but it's not available to use until level 18, so... We'll just stop that quest for a little bit. What about the feline armor? I don't know if I even have all of that stuff. Might be a good thing to go find out right now, actually. Let's see the treasure hunts. Let's care more. Ah... Where is this? Did we not do this one? Off the coast of Rex, right? Huh. Hmm. 
maybe that was high level. I don't remember why. Come to think of it. Oh well. We'll leave that for now. Cat school gear. We can probably do that. There's probably some relatively nearby. Nope. Oh, way the hell out there. Alright. Let's see if we can find that. Okay. Not real close to any fast travel. Hmm. Almost thinking, since it's level 18, let's just move on with our day. Let's see if we got any contracts all out of my league. Secondary quest. That was on the other side of the world too. Oh, whoops. I should probably. There we go. Let's find that. How close can we get to these? Get to mid cops. We can get to byways. The byways is way out of our league right now. Maybe we'll head to mid cops. Just to get this one off our li list, because it's beneath our level now. A nice three point jump there. Three point turn and a jump. Ah, boy. Do we want ghosts? Do we want beasts? Probably beasts. Actually, let's go here. Yep. Oh, that level. What level did that say? 16? That's only three above me. That's not even that bad anymore. Dragus.
That's probably not the last one. I don't know why they're so spread out, but... See anymore. Let's see, I'm even on the right target. Oh yeah, we're real close to this one. Random chest. Let's see if I can, whoops. Can do a bomb, enhanced moon dust. All right. Long group for that one. Bunch of stuff for this one. Okay. Almost there. Oh, we're gonna fight some wolves for it? This is dumb. Alright. Why are wolves guarding this spot? Don't want to kill these wolves. Poor guys. Why they're defending a ruined shrine, though? Who knows? Destroyed this one too. Okay. I'm going to put it back right. By destroyed, you mean knocked down, I guess. <laughs> Looks like a shrine to the crones, but I don't know. Very random quest this is. And there's only two spots in the entire map that you gotta actually do anything about. It's weird. I do gotta fix my sword quick. Just right quick here. I 
Adan DF. Nice. Now we got some hard riding to go. 674. Yikes. Even if we could stop it by ways, which we can't. It's overrun by ghouls. It wouldn't really take us much closer. It's going to be a long haul. We'll just stick to the roads. The easiest. Take the least amount of stamina. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful morning, though, gotta say. Peaceful and still. Deer are out. They did just a marvelous job with the lighting in this game. That's one of its one of its greatest assets. It really feels immersive. There's all the details they put into it. You have to make sure to go this way. I'll just ignore those ghouls for now. They're way in there, 10 levels above me. And that's a bit too much. The wolves we're gonna ignore for a different reason. Oh, we must be on top of the cave that we found the wild hunt in. See those places of power markers? Those, those are places of power markers, right? No, they're not. There's something else. Don't remember what that signifies. Now we gotta get past this griffin. It's also way above my level. We'll come back for you later, buddy. Don't you worry. Just ten more levels and we'll be back. following me. I don't think he can quite catch me though. Trying to get me to veer off the path? Seems like I'll be going straight down a hill. Finally almost there. That was a long run. This part of the map is kind of uh I feel like they forgot it a little bit. 
I was like, oh, we'll leave it for higher level quests, but then also for some reason put these low level quests peppered throughout it. And we don't want to have too many markers. Oh, what's happening here? Whoa! Oh, I'm catching these people trying to knock down the statue. I don't remember that happening before. Interesting. You the ones destroying shrines all over Valen? What's that got to do with you? All right, time What's for the Jedi mind trick, if we can. We are the heralds of lightning. Heavy drops from leaden clouds. Unleashed, the lightning's name shall be Overman. Of course, a man of the neck ruffle speaks that way. The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath. The wrath of the gods? The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains, the dying embers of superstition that harms. Oh, he's an atheist. I see. Great. Need a favor, though. You gotta clean up after yourselves here. Then go back to wherever you came from, dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses. Mm -hmm. The gods are dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. <laughs> Frederick Nietzsche. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality or rid ourselves of morality altogether. Maybe just don't shit on people's beliefs, though. If they're not harming anybody. Like, eternal fire, sure. Oh, do I really want to fight this guy? There's n Why is there not an option to, like, just Jedi mind trick him? I don't want... No, I'm not going to... I'm not going to hurt people. You'll do what you want. But if I were you, I'd get out of here. On account of the ghouls. I'm not going to fight people over Beware. stuff. The who long fights monsters turns monster himself, and the uh, abyss gazes into him also. <laughs> Sheesh, students. more of your kind. I guess I failed that quest then, huh? That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm not about to kill four guys to protect a shrine. Shrines can be rebuilt. But people can. But people can. That's right. Okay. Do I and oh we got a fast travel point. So we'll fast travel back to Crow's Perch. I don't feel like doing these out of the way things right now. We'll st we'll stick on the main quest line. So jump. That's right. Must be efficient. Hey. Want to be sent for efficiency. It's Unless true. it's an apartment. Oh. Then it's just a term of art. That means nothing. Or a closet. Yeah. Alright, so back to Crow's Perch. And then next time we will continue the mainline quest. Tell the Baron about the fate of his daughter and wife. So look forward to that next time, guys. Oh, I might as well save. Don't want to forget to save. What are you doing? I don't know. You're lurking. Fine. Bye. <sighs> I'm just finishing it up. Give me a second. I'm really cool. You gotta get out. That's what I said, right? You're an embarrassment. That's what I said, right? You're an embarrassment. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. Uh... 
See you all Sunday when Dan Platt of The Three Left Show will be joining me again. We're going to learn more about local organizing. So that'll be a lot of fun about uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, Sunday night. See you then. Bye. I, I need some outro music. If anyone has any good ideas for outro music, let me know. Let me know.